Hello, everyone, and welcome to our 2022 Summer Reading Program Virtual Film Series. This year's theme is Oceans of Possibility. My name is David, and I'm one of the librarians here at Moffitt Library who helped curate this summer selection. If you haven't already seen it, be sure to check out the first film in our series from last week, The Bounty, starring Anthony Hopkins and Mel Gibson. Our summer reading program is full of activities and events with intrepid sailors, sea monsters, and beach going. So make sure to check out the Oceans of Possibility at your library this summer. We're using the streaming service Canopy to showcase each of our selected films. Canopy is completely free with your library card. All you need to do is log in with your library card number and create a free account. Here at Moffitt, you receive five play credits per month to watch anything you like. Once the five credits are exhausted, all you need to do is wait until the next month when they automatically refresh for more streaming entertainment. Even better, some parts of Canopy, such as kids content and the Great Courses lecture series do not consume play credits and you can enjoy those to your heart's content. I've put the link to Moffitt Library's Canopy page in the description if you wanna get started right away. Otherwise, you can visit our website, moffittlibrary.org at any time to check out Canopy and our other great online services. Each Monday during the summer reading program, I'll be posting video introductions to our selected film to discuss some of its history, context, and highlights. All you need to do is grab a snack, queue up the film on Canopy, and enjoy some great movies at home. Today's film is the 2017 drama on Chesil Beach, based on a 2007 novella of the same name by British author Ian McEwan. On Chesil Beach, tells the story of two young newlyweds on their honeymoon. Edward Mayhew, played by Billy Howell, is a graduate student in history and prickly about his lower class upbringing. Florence Ponting, played by uh, Sayors Ronan in the same year she won critical acclaim for Lady Bird, is a classical violinist and deeply apprehensive about the prospect of consummating their marriage. After a disastrously awkward first attempt at sex, the two confront their different expectations for life. In a plot that gradually flo uh, follows Edward and Florence over the next several decades, McEwen explores themes of estrangement, reconciliation, and the idea that one's life can be changed, and perhaps for the better, by simply doing nothing. The historical setting of the story is the 1960s, just before the sexual revolution begins to unfold in earnest. And there is a marked contrast to the couple's experiences and what might have happened just a few years later. The director may hint that Florence's distaste for physical intimacy stems from a troubled childhood, but that past never holds her back from later personal success. Chesil Beach is a real place in Dorset, England, and is one of the three major shingle or rocky beaches in the United Kingdom. It juts out far into the English Channel and was famous during the Age of Sail for its dangers and many shipwrecks. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and deemed one of the more spectacular, uh, spectacular natural sites in England. Perhaps amusingly, when McEwen admitted to keeping several pebbles from Chesil Beach on his writing desk during the drafting of the novella, the local governing council threatened to fine him for disturbing the protected reserve unless he put the pebbles back. Although Chesil Beach is not nowadays a major tourist destination, the notion of beach towns in English history and culture is well established. One of the more famous examples is the Cornish port of Penzance in the far southwest of England and the site of the famous Gilbert and Sullivan operetta, The Pirates of Penzance. Known at the time for being a major resort town, much like Malibu or Cancun in the modern American imagination, Penzance amused theatergoers with the prospect of it being overrun with unruly, but ultimately harmless pirates. Chesil Beach may serve as an apt metaphor for the couple, beautiful and inspiring, but rocky. The film was extensively shot on location, so make sure to enjoy the background scenery. 
Please note that On Chesil Beach is rated R for some sexual content and viewer discretion is advised for families. We hope that you enjoy On Chesil Beach and join us next week for another film during the Moffat Library Summer Reading Program. Have a great day, everyone.